Denver, Colorado. I am here with Matt Potts, the uh, brewmaster at De Steel Brew Pubs. Uh, there are two of them, one in uh, Normal, one in Champaign. I visited both, had a great time at both. Uh, so one of the things that I loved about the, the brew pubs was the decor. It's like really sleek, modern. Uh, tell me a little bit about kind of what you're going for with the, the feel. Uh, as far as the uh, the look of the, the brew pub, more of it like we always refer to it as a metro industrial look. It wasn't really a term that existed. It's just the best thing that we could really describe it as. Kind of, we're in downstate Illinois, and uh, in downstate Illinois, it's we were looking for more of like a, an urban type of restaurant where you can enjoy in central Illinois without having to go to Chicago, essentially. Something that was a little bit more a little bit more upscale, but it's still casual and fun. And uh, as far as the decor, though, it's very, again, much more modern. And that, again, what we refer to as a metro industrial look. A lot of steel and uh, hard finishes, you know, not too many soft touches. But anyway, just fit. So you've got uh, a number of interesting beers on, particularly for Central Illinois, because, uh, you know, to be honest, there's not all that much going on in Central Illinois beer-wise. <laughs> um, uh, but there you guys are. And then you've got, uh, you know, when I was at both locations, I think I had, I don't know, 10, 12 beers in, in both locations. Um, talk to me a little bit about what you're trying to do with your selection of beers. What, what would you say is like a signature of, of the steel beers? Uh, well, certainly uh, the sour beers is one of our main niche beers that we're doing, as, as you can see from the TABF here. It's uh, six of the, out of our ten beers that we have here at TABF are sour beers. Um, but we do, that's just a small fraction of what's on tap on a day-to-day -day basis in the brew pubs. We do, we rotate about 55 different beers. We're not, uh, we can't be complacent in how many beers we do or what styles we do. I don't really like the term flagships, although we do have like two or three that we try to keep on all the time. A lot because the kitchen uses those beers and the food, so we really have to keep them on. Everything else is fair game. You know, we have 19 taps in Champagne and 16 in, in Normal, plus a cask in both locations. Um, so out of the, uh, other than the three beers that we try to stay, you know, keep on generally all the time, Everything else, again, is fair game, so we try to really mix it up. Do a lot of stuff that's more seasonal, a lot of stuff that just we just rotate all the way, you know, all the way through the year. So um, it's really looking, you know, that the industry has a lot of pale ales and IPAs, and we do all those as well. But we're looking, you know, especially with the sours, uh, we just like to kind of push the limits with some beer styles that you can't get everywhere. So. so it does seem to me like you are pushing limits with doing sour beers where you're located. Um, and obviously, you've got, I don't know, 10 or, 10 or 12 of them on right here. Um, how did those go over in Central Illinois? Uh, they're going over better and better all the time. I mean, it was, you know, it's a challenge in Central Illinois to even introduce people to craft beer in general. Uh, that we've accomplished. Now they're kind of catching on to the sour beer thing. A lot of that is when we go to beer fest, especially like in Chicago or bigger metro areas. That's where the hype is just crazy over the, you know, our sour beers. Um, but in the brew pubs as well, you know, it's uh, very much catching on. It's hard to keep them on because we don't, you know, they take a long time to age. We can't produce a high volume of them. So when we have them on tap, they don't last very long. So uh, right now our project is to open a production brewery uh, in Bloomington. And, uh, and there we expect to have 500 oak barrels where we can do sour beers in much higher volume. But then round that, you know, our portfolio out, not just with sour beers, but uh, many, many different styles of beer as well. You know, anything from double IPAs to double red ales. Uh, a lot of fruit beers we do as well. So, uh, pretty wide range of beers that we're doing. Do you have a timeline for that? For the production brewery? Yeah. My timeline? Well, I'd love it to be open right now. But, uh, you know, my best guess right now is we'd be brewing beer there after the first, you know, right after the first of the year. Uh, probably draft only for a while. It's going to be kind of a phase-in project where we're doing draft only, getting fermenters in there. Again, draft only, and then bring it in, you know, the packaging line and getting some beers out later. So if you're looking at first, after, right after the first of the year, you must already be uh, fairly well underway with that. Yeah, we've got possession of the warehouse. We've got fermenters ordered and all that. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, we've got our delivery truck so we can self-distribute in Illinois. And uh, so, yeah, it's underway. It's just going to take a little bit of time to get it going. So. Nice. That's exciting news. That's not something I'd heard about. The big thing is, uh, yeah, so you're, this is like news, you know, because uh, we really haven't announced it like officially. And uh, 
but we're getting pretty close to doing that. I guess right now I kind of technically, maybe, I guess. Um, but, uh, you know, especially with the sours, we've got demand from distributors all over the country, especially for the sour beers, but our, our other beers as well. So we've really created the demand before the supply. So right now we need to get this production brewery going, get beer in the barrels, start that aging process, because it's going to take about at least a year for those beers to be ready to distribute. So right now our number one goal will be get barrels in, start getting, you know, get those filled up, and also, you know, in the, in the meantime, while those are aging, start distributing some other beers. We started distributing up in Wisconsin a couple months ago just to start kind of priming that market. Uh, so actually Wisconsin has distilled beers being distributed before Illinois does. So, so how do you have a bottling line? Uh, it's all draft. All draft, got it, okay. Um, so I'm based in Minnesota. Any plans to come to Minnesota? We got a lot of beer drinkers up there. In Minnesota? Uh, I mean, we'd, we'd love to get beer up to you. It might be a while before you get bottles or anything like that, but once we get the fermenters going, we'll start sending kegs out to you know a lot of neighboring states, I would imagine. Maybe Minnesota could be one of them, so I hope. We got a great beer scene there, so <laughs> I would love to see your beers in Distill, or uh, your beers in Minnesota. We'll, uh, we'll try to do everything we can to make that happen. So. Uh, well, I appreciate your giving me a couple of minutes of your time. Um, thanks a lot. Cheers. Whoop, I'm sorry. All right, cheers.